Hi, it's Phil from Delphi Technologies. In today's how-to video, we're going to be looking at ignition coils and how to identify one with poor performance. Their main purpose is to convert the battery voltage from 12 volt up to anywhere between two to 40,000 volts. They do this by using a series of coils inside, hence the name. They send the electricity to the spark plug and that spark plug in turn ignites the fuel mixture. And you can imagine when they're not working correctly, we're not sufficiently lighting the fuel and air mixture within the engine cylinder. Let's talk designs. The modern ignition coil ranges from a two pin through to a seven pin and everything else in between. It's referred to as a coil on plug because the coil sits directly on the spark plug. Now where the design changes is it can either be single or it can be multiple molded into a single housing. When it comes to testing, the design affects our testing techniques. Now we have to remember that when we think about an ignition coil, we have two elements inside. We have the primary, which is the lower voltage, and the secondary, which is the higher voltage. And it's important to remember that because when we set the equipment up, we're gonna be selecting and testing the secondary voltage. That's the high voltage that ignites the spark plug. Now, when it comes to testing this design, where they're molded into a single unit, we're able to use a testing wand. The principle is, the testing one will pick up the back EMF during operation and we'll be able to send that signal to the oscilloscope for us to view on screen. And this will help us identify which coil is causing us the problem. If you watched our mass airflow sensor testing video, you'll notice that when I configured the scope software, I did it manually. But the software itself has a bit of a party piece. It has an automated configuration option. And I'm gonna show you how to use it when testing the ignition coil. Go to automotive then click on ignition and all the way down to coil on plug and remembering we're testing the secondary voltage. You're then presented with an automated help file which guides you through how to set up and configure the software. Minimizing that down presents you with an example pattern which you should be looking to expect to see. At the moment it's paused and the trigger has already been set. The trigger of course is this little diamond in the middle of the screen, which holds the signal in the middle, enabling you to see it easier. I can go ahead now and press on play. The signal will disappear and we're ready to test. We're going to connect the earth probe of the testing wand to the earth of the battery. Now, before we carry out the test, we just need to make sure, of course, that the 12 volt circuit is okay. And you should always do that before this test. This is just checking the primary side that the ignition coil has supply voltage and is working correctly. If that's okay, we can move on to the testing, which we're about to do now. We need to first start the engine and then apply the testing wand on the top of the ignition coil. We then should see the scope trace here. So as a first quick check, let's put the wand on top of the ignition coil and making sure we're getting that correct signal. We can see the signal matches the example pattern that was on the screen before, and that looks fairly good. We can then simply move through each coil onto the second coil Again, another good pattern. Finally, onto the third coil. All of them look fairly good. Now, to be extra accurate, we can do a comparison directly on screen of each of the coils. Let's do that now. We record the first, pause it, second, pause it, and then we can compare all three on the screen at the same time. So we have the first ignition trace on screen. What we're gonna do now is save that as a reference. So I'm gonna right click here, I'm gonna come down to reference waveforms. And I'm gonna click on channel A. That's now gonna store that one in the background. And you can see it appears a much lighter color. We can now go on to the next one, test it, and see the comparison live on screen. So we'll start the engine back up. And we can do a direct comparison. We're seeing here that the charge time is slightly longer. It's coming back in now. The burn time is good and those two ignition coil packs, they look pretty good. The last one we set as another reference waveform and we have now two in the background. And if we just do a final check on the third, place it the wand on top and we have very, very similar burn time, that's looking fairly good. Now a question we might get asked is, why are they not exactly the same? The first part we're seeing there is the charge time and the second part of the graph is the burn time. Now they're not exactly the same because there will be a small difference in the spark plugs. As the gap is bigger, we need more voltage and we might need a different amount of burn time depending on the exact gap of the spark plug. 
Now, if there was a trace on screen here, which was sewing completely dead or extremely short or long, very different compared to the others, then the next step would be to make sure that the spark plug is correct and is gapped correctly. Thanks for watching today. For more how-tos and support, follow us on social media or visit our Masters of Motion online hub. And if you'd like to continue your learning further, check out our range of expert-led courses at the Delphi Technologies Training Academy. See you next time.